Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome back to Carpe Diem Sailing. If you're new to the channel, my name is Marco. I'm a Sail Canada cruising instructor. And in today's video, I'll be talking about throw bags and heaving lines. Welcome to episode 47, heaving lines and throw bags. Traditionally, when a line needed to be thrown, uh, sailors would use a heaving line, something like this. There would be something like a monkey's fist or a heaving line knot tied in the end, and that would give it some extra weight to throw it further. Most often these lines were used when transferring the heavy hawsers, the heavy dock lines on the ships down to shore because they couldn't throw the dock lines off. So they would throw the messenger line to shore um, and then they would transfer the, um, the dock line. They do take some practice. I will be demonstrating throwing a, a heaving line, but they can be um, a little bit laborious to throw. Uh, they can be a bit finicky. And so if you need it in a sort of a rescue situation, there are better options. So as much as we use these for many years, um, in, in recent years, uh, these bags, which are throw bags, uh, where the line is stuffed into the bag, were developed. And they were essentially developed, or initially developed for uh, whitewater canoeing and kayaking for rescues and things like that. And they have found their way into the cockpit of uh, sailboats. Now, whether you use a heaving line or a, uh, or a throw bag, beyond obvious rescue type scenarios, there are many other situations where being able to throw a line well um, is, uh, is quite handy. So for example, warping, which is moving a boat uh, with, with long lines from one, one dock to another in a tricky docking situation, things like that. So anytime that you need to throw a line, um, a heaving line or a throw bag is the way to go. And the last point I wanna make is that the line ideally should be a floating line. So now I'm gonna demonstrate throwing the heaving line and we're gonna demonstrate throwing the throw bag and also how to repack the throw bag. As I said, heaving lines can be um, laborious and there is a setup for the throw and I'm gonna go over that right now. So either, whether you're using a throw bag or a heaving line, either tie it to the dock, stand on it, put it on a cleat or something like that. If you're gonna hold it in your hand, what you can do is just interlace it amongst your fingers like that. And that's enough friction that the line won't fly out of your hand, but it's not a safety issue in that if you do, if it pulls hard, it will slide off. So it's just a matter of, interlacing it like this, but not wrapping it around your hand. You never want to wrap a line around your hand if there's a load that could be coming onto it. So you interlace it like this amongst your fingers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to coil about half the line, catching it on my index finger. Now I'm not putting a little twist in the line or anything like that. I'm just letting the coils fall as they, as they do. And so you will get a little bit of a figure eight in there, but that's fine. If you put that little twist in there, you might get tangles when you go to throw it. So that's about half the coil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the coil and I'm going to catch it on my middle finger and we'll go right to the end, right to the monkey's fist. And now what I do is I'll split the coils like this and I've got that one in between. I've got these, the line in my fingers here. I've got this on my index finger and then this is the line I'm going to throw. So when I throw it, I throw this piece out here the weight of this line and the monkey's fist will, will travel outwards and then it will pull these coils off. And I should be able to throw this entire length of 50 foot, uh, 50 foot line. So I have the bitter end intertwined amongst my fingers. I have this coil hanging off my index finger here. I have this coil in this hand. And the idea is to throw with a sideways throw and slightly up. And uh, like I said, throw this line out and then let this feed off my hand here. So here we go. So when using the throw bag, you've got this little speed lock here, open that up, open the bag up, find the end, and if it's been properly packed, it should just be stuffed inside. And that's all you need to do is find the end and, uh, and open the bag. And then you're ready to throw. So either hold it in your hand. Some people will stand on it. You can put it on a cleat, tie it off the side of the boat. However you do it, 
do something to make sure you don't lose the bitter end. As far as throwing the bag itself, what I like to do personally is an underhand throw. You can also throw sideways and some people will throw it like a football or like a baseball. As I said, for me, I like to throw underhand. Now, one um, quick point to mention is uh, I have done some whitewater training and that sort of thing. And when we're training people, it's quite, it can be quite funny when people throw a bag because sometimes they'll throw them straight up and they'll come straight down. So these do take some practice as well. So get out there if you have one of these, do practice with it. And don't try to throw it, throw it too hard your first times. So just a simple underhand throw like this. And here we go. So as you saw, it's pretty quick and easy to deploy. So in a rescue situation, they're quite handy. Um, and you know, once it's packed properly, it can be sitting on the railing for weeks. And then when you need it, it's just a matter of opening the top and throwing it. So I just wanna make sure that we go over how to pack it properly. It should never be coiled up and then stuffed into the bag. I have actually seen people do that and that's not gonna work. So the way it goes is basically you stuff it in like this. So this is one way to do it. It can take a while, there's 50 feet of line here and we're trying to stuff it back in here like that. Another way that I've found that actually works a bit better than that is to actually take the line over your shoulder like this and then using your two fingers holding the bag, like your two little fingers, your pinky fingers, holding the bag open like that, you can actually feed the line like that with two hands. And that can actually go quite a bit, <clears throat> quite a bit faster. They do make the bags about as small as they can possibly be to just contain the line. So when you get to the end there, it does take a bit of work to get all the line in. So I'm coming to the end now. And at this point, what I usually do is I just lower the bag to the ground and then just do the last final little bit to get it all stuffed in. Once they get to the end, just make sure that the end is sitting on top where you can find it easily and then close the bag and make sure your little speed lock is closed and then here you've got your little clip to hang it from a railing on the boat and that's packing a throw bag. See you next time when I go over reefing the main single-handed. Thanks for watching until then I wish you all fair winds and following seas.